My name is Jorg Massa. I'm a behavioral biologist and I study uh, the intelligence of animals here at Utrecht University. We study the link between the duration of yawning and several brain measures, uh, for example, the brain size and the uh, amount of neurons a brain is packing. And this idea stems from the hypothesis that yawning actually functions to cool the brain. Uh, so if our brain overheats, we uh, actually have a mechanism that allows us to cool that brain by yawning. The idea then is that if a, a brain is larger, it requires more cooling or if a brain is more active, that is, if it has more neurons, uh, it might also require more cooling. So what we found was indeed that, um, be it in uh, birds or be it in mammals, the larger the brain of a species is, the longer the yawn of that species uh, also is. We compared the duration of yawns across more than 100 species of both mammals and birds to see if indeed those species with larger brains also yawn longer than those species with smaller brains or those species packing more neurons in comparison to those species packing less neurons. So to study yawns in animals, you need a lot of patience. So basically what we did in this study is we went to several zoos or several research institutes and sat in front of those enclosures with a camera and waited until uh, the individuals actually yawned. I'm filming. Oh, it's very nice. Oh my God. <laughs> That's impressive. So these findings provide us with useful information about how the brain functions and specifically how it deals with uh, fluctuations in temperature. And it tells us also something about an everyday behavior, uh, which we do about five to 15 times a day, and which uh, is often associated with boredom. But we now know that this is actually a very helpful behavior that helps us to uh, bring back our brain to a, a, a temperature in which it functions best. Uh, so in fact, if somebody is yawning, he might not be bored, but he might actually be trying uh, to keep his attention at a, at a perfect level for the story you're telling them.